Hello Facebook friends, um, my name is Pastor Ojimba Ali. Today I would like to make a video called Dreams Do Come True. Um, about two weeks ago, I actually um, took a picture with the news reader who goes by the name of Michael Burke. And um, I was so excited about that picture that I was thinking about it from the past two weeks and I'm like, the way I met Michael Burke wasn't a fluke. Because when I was younger, I dreamt of meeting Michael Burke, the great newsreader. So anyway, having said that, the, the theme of the topic today is dreams do come true. If there's any youngsters watching out there, I want you to understand that dreams do come true. Well, let me take it back a bit. I think it was in 1992, or 93, 94, when the Iraq war was on. I think I was like in my early 20s, maybe I was 21 years old, 22 years old. Can't remember the precise age that I was, but what I do know is that Michael Burke was covering the Iraq war on BBC One. So he was the news presenter for the national nine o'clock news. And um, Michael Burke was really, really good at his profession. So because Michael Burke was so good at his profession and he was my favorite national news reader, reader for some reason, I never used to miss the nine o'clock national news because Michael Burke was on it. So there was times I used to find myself playing with my mates in the playground or maybe I was in a cafe, or maybe I was in a cinema, and I used to find myself dashing out of whatever I was, running down the street, and I used to get home before it was nine o'clock in the evening. Apparently, I would say that Michael Burke made the nine o'clock national news on BBC One my favorite program. I mean, the way Michael Burke carried himself, I mean the way Michael Burke conducted himself. I mean the way Michael Burke came across positively and the way he spoke very eloquently. It made me build up an interest. And I believe that not only, not only did I build up an interest because of this man's unique art form, but I believe that Michael Burke actually entertained millions of viewers around the country. Because for you to become for you to come on BBC, a national channel, that means the whole country is watching. And not only that, the BBC, they've got a worldwide service as well. That means people in America or people in Australia, Africa, different continents, they were witnessing, what well, I was witnessing, how good a news presenter Michael Burke really was. Now, within that era, or within that period of time, ITV, another national channel, television channel, they had a presenter, a black presenter, a black man presenter, who went by the name of Sir Trevor McDonald. Now you think about it, to be given the name Sir Trevor McDonald, that means the whole country has acknowledged you. That means the royal family has acknowledged you. Sir Trevor McDonald was a special one of a kind as well, but as good as he was on ITN, I still, I still stayed loyal to BBC One because Michael Burke was an extraordinary kind of special talent. Apparently, having said that as well, I once met Sir Trevor McDonald at the Oval Station, which is based in um, South London. And I came up to Trevor McDonald and I told him how good he was as a, as a newsreader. And I said to him that um, he inspires me as well. And Sir Trevor McDonald gave me advice. He said, yeah, keep on doing what you're doing. Don't give up that it took him a long time to get to where he is. And um, that advice 
uh, it stuck on me. It stayed with me. But having said that, Michael Burke is still my favorite news reader. I always wanted to meet Michael Burke. I've dreamt of meeting Michael Burke over the years. I've been watching Michael Burke read the news um, from 1992 or maybe 1991. Who knows, maybe 1990. So even when I was a young, tender age, I still dreamt of one day meeting Michael Burke. Michael Burke has obviously retired at this present moment. And um, because Michael Burke has retired, I would even go as far as saying, I don't even watch the news no more. I find it hard to watch the news no more. Because Michael Burke is a tough act to follow. He had a major impact on me. And I'm here to say, Michael Burke, as good as you were as a newsreader, you will be missed. You will solely be missed. You will definitely be missed. Because I'm not saying that the news readers of today are not good, but I'm just saying that you had something that was really, really profound and something that was really, really special. I mean, the other day, I think two weeks ago, my company, the Evening Standard, they sent me to Baker Street Station, Underground Station, which is based in West London. And because uh, my profession as well, as much as I'm a pastor, I'm a vendor as well. So a vendor means giving out a newspaper to the general public for their daily information. And I had three hours to give out different kind of bundles of newspaper, evening standard. And I was giving it to the people, I was giving it out to the people, saying to that lady, thank you, take it, read this, um, it's so interesting, and this and that. And funnily enough, the job that I had to finish in three hours, because I was really so much into it, I managed to finish it in an hour. And here I was, standing in front of Baker Street Station, staring at Madame Two Swords. I saw Madame Two Swords there. I saw Marley Burns. I was just staring at this beautiful part of London, but I was getting a bit bored. I was getting a bit carried away. My memory was like wandering all over the place. And suddenly I was bored. Not too many commuters were coming out of the underground station anymore. And suddenly as I looked down, I saw Michael Burke coming up the stairs. And I couldn't believe it. I had to blink. I had to, I had to blink twice. I had to go like that with my, with my eyes, just to make sure that my eyes are not deceiving me. And as he was coming up the, sta the stairs, I yelled, that's Michael Burke. He didn't want to give anything away. I was looking at him. I was focused on him. I said, no, 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 that's Michael Burke. I kept on saying, that's Michael Burke. And all my colleagues that were giving out the evening standard, they gathered around there and suddenly smiled. And he said, yeah, 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 I am Michael Burke. So I started telling him the story, how he had an impact on me in my younger days, you know? And I always wanted to meet him. And I said to Michael Burke, do you know what? Is it possible for us to take a picture together? And Michael Burke said, yeah, yeah, why not? I said, can you sign me an autograph? And we took pictures together and a lot of people gathered around the station and they were looking and I was telling him how effective and constructive he's been in my upbringing as well and he said oh it's good to know that and he asked me, what do I do now and I said I'm a pastor now you know so basically I'm here to say to the youth around the world even the adults around the world even the elders around the world I'm here to say to them that dreams do come true and just like Michael Burke being a newsreader on BBC One National News had an impact on me as a youth. I hope that my that my video as Pastor Ojimba Alex is having an impact on the youth around the world. Even if my video touches one person around the world, then that means I'm doing a good job. And I hope that one day, one of the youth one day will see me on the way, maybe when I'm old and I'm walking gingerly and funnily and one of the youth will come up to me and say hey pastor pastor i remember 20 years ago when i watched your videos it had an impact on me that's all i ever asked for but meeting michael burke was a dream come true and after all dreams do come true the name of this video is dreams do come true thank you pastor jimba alex goodbye